Hi, I'm Helen Linda, and I'm delighted to welcome you to the Content Creation Module, which I've been working on with D4L instructor Lori Bell and project coordinator Arden Kirkland. This module is your chance to finally jump in and start creating content. A lot of people find this step daunting. That's part of why we put it later in the full series so that we could have a chance to get you more comfortable. This module is a place for you to experiment. Use it as a chance to play with different tools and don't worry so much about the final outcome. It takes practice to get used to using these different tools and especially recording your own voice and face. Don't be too hard on yourself. Most of our D4L alums have said that it was really hard for them to record their first screencast or other multimedia content. But once they got past it, they gradually got more comfortable. If you're nervous about recording, you're not alone. We're all in this together, and this is the place for us to try out these new tools and help each other out. So, what will we be doing? Week one is about best practices for multimedia content. We'll introduce you to several important principles and give you a chance to evaluate some existing online library instruction with these principles in mind. In week two, you'll start organizing and drafting multimedia content, and you'll be able to start scripting and creating a storyboard. In week three, the focus is on choosing tools for content creation, We'll introduce you to many different options and provide some examples of work from our alumni. In week four, you'll finally get to begin creating content, jumping in to record and share a short five-minute unit of content. Here are the objectives for this module. Recognize principles for using audio, video, text, and graphics in online learning based on cognitive psychology research. Determine how multimedia resources fit into your instructional design plan. Evaluate existing online library training with regard to standards for digital content. Identify best practices for the process of creating multimedia content. Select screencasting and online tutorial software and services for your instructional objectives. Draft scripts and storyboards for your instructional content. Use screencasting or other online tutorial software to create instructional resources. This module will follow the same format as the other D4L modules you may have already gone through, with lessons, challenge questions, reflection questions, workbook activities, and forum posts where you'll develop your own online content and share it with us. This is just an introduction to get you started with content creation, and we look forward to hearing from you about what you're using to create content, and if you're finding multimedia content useful in your library. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you in week one.